Hi there. We're going to look at a couple of patterns in Ode to Joy. So we've got our Fs sharp. The lever's up for the F, so we're in the key of G, which has an F sharp. And so we'll begin by placing our fingers on, third finger on B above middle C, and then the C, second finger on C above middle C, and thumb on D above that C. So B, C, D. The pattern we're looking at is we're going to repeat the B, then we play the C, then repeat the D. So it's third finger two times, then the second, then the thumb time two times. As we <clears throat> replace the other fingers. So it's a D, I'm, let's start over. B, B, C, D, D. B, B, C, D, D. So after you play the C, you replace the second and third finger. B, B, C. Now replace D, D. That's one pattern. B, B, C, replace the fingers, D, D. Then there's where we go into that run from the D down to the G, where we do first finger on D, C, cross over to the B, and the other three finger, other two fingers are placed for B, A, G. And here's we get where we get to that same pattern repeated only on three different, three other strings, G, A, and B. So we did third finger two times, then C with the second, D, D. Now we're down here on the G, a little below that, G, A, B. Same pattern, third finger two times, then the second finger, replace the fingers, B, B. Again, third, third, second, replace B, B. Again, G, G, A, B, B. So again, let's begin where at the top here, second finger begins on the C above middle C, then third finger on B. So third on B, second on C, thumb on D. So the pattern is Two times on the third finger, once on the second, then two times on the thumb. So third, third, second, thumb, thumb. Then when we get down to the G, A, B strings, all clear strings here, it's the same pattern. G, G, A, B, B. So here's how it sounds as we begin. And one. line then is B, B, C, D, D, C, crossover, B, A, G, G, A, B, B. Let's begin again with D, C, D. Ready and begin. B, B, C, D, D, C, cross over to B, A, replace G, G, A, B, B. The next notes are A, A. So this pattern beginning with G, G, A, B, B, A, A. Again. G, G, A, B, B, A, A. So the first line again. The patterns of twice with the third finger, then once on the second, and twice on the thumb. Ready and begin. Third, third, second, first, first, second, cross. 
cross over, thumb, second, repeat. G, A, B, B, then two A's. Try this again with the letter names. And B, B, C, D, D, C, cross over. B, A, G, G, A, B, B, A, A. Again, place the fingers with B, B, C, D, replace D, C, cross over, B, A, G, replace. Place G, B, B, A, A, again, and B, B, C, replace D, D, C, cross over with the thumb, B, A, replace G, G, A, B, B, A, A. So when we get to the that in B A A, that is where we have a dotted quarter note on the B, and the first A is an eighth note A, and then the second A is a half note. So we hold it for two counts. So the counting first of all there from B A A is one. Two and three, four. One, two and three, four. Or a words. Our words also are spoken in time, in timing or beats or rhythms. So an easy way to remember a dotted quarter note followed by a half note. I mean, let's start over. Dotted quarter note followed by an eighth note and then a half note is you can think Romeo, Romeo. So be from the beginning with B, B, C, B, place, B, C, crossover, B, A, place, G, G, A, B, So that helps to remember how the timing goes and that we hold that ro mi yo and the second note is a little faster. So play along with me once more that first line. Begin with B, B, C, replace D, D, C, cross over to B, A, G. more without any words. Ready? And go with B. Okay. Rewind and practice with that.